Blair, tell me how you came to work for the Steelers. Yes, yeah, so um, actually this will be my sixth season with the Steelers. Um, my background is in gender equity work, all nonprofit work um, for over 10 years. Um, and they called me and said, hey, we have an opening for community relations. Um, would love to interview for you. So uh, interview me for it. So it's been uh, six years. I'm, I'm always a person up for a challenge. And so um, I absolutely love my job. So it's been um, it's been a really, really great experience and really blessed to, to be here. So so what do you do here with the players? So my job is director of community relations. So I work with each of our players individually on how they want to give back to the community, how they want to spend their time, causes that are important to them. And then I find the community partner that would be a best fit for them, match them up. So we have, um, last year we had over 100 events out in the community. We were in 30 different communities last season. Um, so that's my job specifically with the players. But then in addition to that, working with our community to learn about different issues or opportunities opportunities for us as a team and a community partner that we should be involved in. So really being a sounding board for the community and seeing how we can be involved and engaged. And then last but not least, working with the NFL on their community initiatives and then getting them executed here in a Pittsburgh market. You mentioned your background in nonprofits. Mm -hmm. What inspired you? to start your career in that? Yeah, so um, so I grew up in a really, really small town in the Midmont Valley area. Both of my parents are pastors, so service was just a part of who we were and just a part of my daily routine. Um, and so uh, post-college, um, I also was in AmeriCorps for a year, and so I feel like that was really the beginning of me finding my passion for just giving back and being involved in the community, and then working at the Women and Girls Foundation and managing their Girl Gov program to get more girls interested in civic engagement, and then after that going to Adagio Health to really focus on reproductive health and um, just working with all the different community agencies just kind of um, just really kind of just spurred my passion for giving back. Yeah I mean there has to be this reward that you get out of that you feel good about what you're doing what your job is. Absolutely I mean absolutely I mean I think you know it's so important that we as a community step up and just really are there to support our neighbors and also just making sure that issues that don't get amplified um, are that's the great part of about our players and just kind of the Steelers brand in general is that we're, we have a megaphone, right? And so we're able to amplify a lot of causes and issues in the community that need to be highlighted. Um, and also just being able to support our partners, right? I always say we as the Pittsburgh Steelers, you know, our job is to be a good partner and to make sure that agencies are supported in the way that they should be. Working for nonprofits, I'm sure it would have been a blessing to have the voice of a Steeler come on and, yeah. and you know, and be that person for your organization. Mm -hmm. Do you find that they get the same enjoyment out of this? Absolutely, because you know, the I always tell people like my job is to make sure that people see the players behind the helmet, right? So these are people just like you and I who have you know family members that may have been affected by cancer, um, you know, players who are really passionate about social justice work, and so I I enjoy letting people see and also humanize these players to make sure that our community knows it's not only what you see on Sunday, it's what these guys do in the community that is just as equally as important as Sunday. Talk to me about that process. What is it like getting to know the players on, on a level off the field? Mm -hmm. This, Because, you know, we see them as tough guys and they're out there to win every Sunday. Yeah. But you get to see this other side of them. You get to know these personal backstories and, mm -hmm. and match them up with what fits for them. Yeah, no, absolutely. That's the part of my job that I love and enjoy the most is being able to take, I always say like football season is so much longer than just, you know, you know what we see during preseason and in season. So really taking the time off season to talk with them one-on-one -on, -one on things that they're passionate about, how to make the most of their time during in season. So really just taking time one-on-one -on -one to get to know them personally, their families, just different uh, causes and issues that they care about. Um, so that's the part that I love the most. And so I think it's really about just relationship building with them um, and to make sure that they know that they feel comfortable, not only with me, but us as a team, um, making sure that they know like we're here to support you, not only on the field, but off the field as well. And do you have anything that you're most proud of, like projects that you've paired yeah. players up with that yeah. have just really worked? I think um, what I'm most proud of is our, our social justice fund. So that started back in 2018. It's a, it's a matching fund between the organization and our players. Um, and so over, over since 2018, 
2018, um, over $2 million has been given back to the community, specifically focusing on social justice causes and issues. And so, you know, when we think about, you know, organizations like the Innocence Project, Amachi Pittsburgh, all these organizations that are doing great work here in the city, you know, we need to make sure that they're supported. And so I think the way that it's been able to elevate and transform their programs, also for those organizations to be able to serve more people, um, I think that's something that I'm extremely proud of as well, too. Um, but then I think just also the, the capacity that we've been able to grow for our players in terms of their community events. So last year we hit a record of 100 events, so that's a lot of events in one season. So I think being able to see our locker room just so engaged in the community and our guys also have little competitions of like, okay, who's doing the most like yeah. community <laughs> events and stuff. So I think it's just been great to see our players engaged. And you, you mentioned like TJ, for example. Yeah, no, absolutely. So TJ's, you know, had a great partnership with 412 Food Rescue over the past couple of years so really being able to work with him to amplify causes and issues that he cares about uh, last year cam launched his cam's kindness week which was a whole week out in the community doing work so working with children's hospital expanding his craig's closet program um, you know giving back to daycares and then also making a donation to girls flag football to make sure the sport the sport is expanded so i think you know different things like that um, are you know we're able to do but also new guys who have come to our team levi wallace uh, larry Ogunjobi has have been able to like come in and really hit the ground running with giving back. That's amazing. You know, one of the main reasons I really wanted to talk with you is because it almost seems like you're the conductor for good yeah. of the Steelers. You know, we all enjoy the games. We all enjoy like the Steeler pride that we have. Mm -hmm. But knowing that they're out there doing good and and you're part of the reason that some of this is happening. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, I, I absolutely love that. I always feel like, you know, I'm the, the woman behind the curtain just pulling all the strings. And so, you know, I what's really important to me is to make sure, you know, the guys, when it's in season, it's really difficult because their schedules are completely busy, dedicated to football. So I want to make sure that we find the best partner and that also they're spending time doing things that they want to do too. So whether it's two, three hours, they're engaged in the community and they also have fun too. And so I think, you know, it's so important to make sure our partners are supported, but also to make sure our players are having a good time as well too. It shows. It really does. Thank you so much, Blair. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, Blair Holmes Davis, the second lady of Pennsylvania, also doing so much good work in the community.